control communication, the three pillars to successfully execute a mission in modern military combat. They are also the sources of inspiration behind Stella Women Academy Airsoft Club, adaptively named C3 Club. Due to the club's nature, the members have trouble finding newcomers, but as the school year starts, they hope to find a new sharpshooter among a new crop of students. Yuri is a freshman at Stella. She sports an anniversary personality that makes it difficult for her to make friends. Shin, she discovers absent roommates, own the massive collection of military memorabilia and movies, including a replica of Desert Eagle. When one of the C3 club members catches Yuri reading out the action movie, she drags him to the club's airsoft practice match. Despite being on the losing side, Yuri is unexpectedly drawn to the excitement of the game. Upon her return, her roommate, Saro, wrote herself to be the C3 club president and invites her to join. Now with Sonori by her side, more exhilarating matches convince Yuri to sign up. Thanks to her new teammates, Yuri discovers a hidden side to herself and an unexpected, unexpected love for Airsoft. However, as her dedication to the game slowly takes over her life, Yuri finds herself on the path of great change and success, one that may easily lead to self-destruction. This anime has about 13 episodes, premiered July 5th, September 27th, in the year 2013, based off a manga series, it is sports. The theme is military and school. Each episode is 24 minutes. It's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. What I really like about this anime, especially it reminds me of another like airsoft survival combat anime, but this one focuses more on how should I say this? It's not much of a tongue twister. But it is a very long name for the anime, but you know, as we see the progression of anime names and titles do tend to get a little bit longer, but. The idea of having a group of high school girls be fascinated with military combat and airsoft. The kind of mind like paintball in a way, but more, it hurts more when you hit by an airsoft gun. But I digress. As the story progresses, when you have a, ch a girl who can't make easily a friend as she would like to, and then suddenly get drawn to a world that she has no idea that she might get interested in, but also that she doesn't realize that she's self deceptive on the path of gaining a new interest, but also she's come like overly obsessed with it where it might even ruin her life. But I, I retract as I'm backtracking with this anime itself. It can be a bit confusing because if you're not your typical slice of life type of anime where you have a bunch of high school girls shooting around with guns. But as the main character, as we go more into her progression and her backstory and her character development she is chasing a dream that you know we're not even sure it might work out in her favor but despite all that i have like these episodes itself when it comes like i don't know for the characters to have this love for airsoft especially for uh, most of the girls especially the president that is later found out is her roommate has a very strong love and passion for military memorabilia and military movies but for that itself i think the the way it's broken down for the girls in cell academy for this anime it's pretty good and what i like about it, like the first couple episodes you'll be introduced to the girl and the art of airsaw and then eventually you'll dive more into the character's backstory their aggression their obstacles and what they're struggling in life and uh, also a well-rounded like redemption arc and then as you move forward, I feel like as you digress into the anime, as you progress more and more the episodes, you see more of how they're building that strong bond. Now, despite the rivals they may face from other schools with an airsoft competition, I feel like this is a different twist on having an all-girls team being having a similar interest with military type feel, like uh, girls who pens in, if I'm pronouncing that name right, Basically, girls who were fascinated with military tanks in their whole island and whole school course thing was based around that, which I thought was really fascinating. You're showing more of a different... You're breaking that stereotype norm where a girl has to be rescued by a knight in giant armor. No, not, not, not digress. These girls can save themselves, and it shows them with their love of military prowess that these girls can do just fine without any guy's help. And I think that anime shows like the whole term of female bonding and female, you know solidarity and you know helping each other out which i really like but definitely check out this anime if you haven't already comment down below and to review next and let me know what you think of stella woman academy c3 and what you think about the girls battling in airsoft memorabilia and enjoying the sport as a whole and having a good time with it but until then i'll see you real soon from the anime review and until then bye <laughs>